So we dialed in the alternator on the late. The body has absolutely no run out. Uh, I decided not to take the rotor out because it's just enough space on the back. So we got it perfectly dialed in. Uh, it just took the dial plug off and uh, run it between a life center and the photo jack. There's no rocking at all. This is a 1,000th of a millimeter indicator, no movement at all. But we have some movement here, which is on the unworn surface of the slip ring, which is about three or four hundred of a millimeter. So we give the, the rear one a little bit of a skim as well. Maybe it's the spender or pulley machine. I don't know. Maybe someone messed around with it before. Who knows? Don't know the history of it. Alright, let's get the indicators off and uh, do a bit of skimming here. So everything looks nice and shiny. And uh, I think we're okay. It's a bit smaller, but uh, that's fine. Don't polish it too much. Uh, if, if they're freshly machined, it's not a problem if there is a little bit of roughness because that uh, bends in the brushes a lot faster. So we just leave that this way. Uh, to make it not rotating, I just put a cable tie around the bed here. Otherwise, the body of the alternator would just spin around. And that left, that allowed me to get there with the, with the tool. Uh, I, s I really skimmed as little as possible. Um, there is still some discoloring visible, but it it doesn't grab the fingernail anymore. So I'm happy with that. Give it a good blowout and uh, put it back together and test it. So we're gonna put it back together. Um, I took those rubbers out. Make sure they're clean and you put it in the right way. The longer part. To the outside and then give the diode rectifier block a clean and put it back on it's uh, it locates itself and then just put those screws back in and then fit the brush block and that's it. So let's put that screws in and uh, fit the brush here. So, and that's how it looks all together. New brush boxes in. When you put those back in, tighten that screw first and those after that, but carefully, that's plastic. Um, this needs a good firm twist because there is some current flowing here. If you look at the back, we can see the brushes. I think so. I don't know if it's, if it's visible. Got some light on here. So that's how they sit on the slip ring here. So what we're going to do, we leave it running with no power for a few minutes. That. Uh, helps to seat the brushes in and then we put a little bit of current on and just check in the darkness if they're firing or not. Uh, they most likely won't but uh, it's a good idea to check that first. Um, we can leave the back cover off as long as we put well, at least two nuts on here to make sure this is not wobbling around. It's okay here but this holds the brush box as well, so we put two nuts on so we can, we can leave that cover off and uh, look into it what happens. If there are no sparks everything is fine. And once everything works okay we just, uh, we just put the cover back on and that's about it.
So let me set that back up into the mill to drive it and uh, then we'll come back. Well, we had it running for a while and uh, what actually happens is um, <laughs> I'm stalling the mill because the motor has only one kilowatt or so and uh, it's running off a phase converter so it hasn't got a full torque so if I crank it up to about 50 amps yeah it stalls stalls the mill so, so that's about 50 amps you can hear that the phase converter kicks in the boost which is a bit of a pain I'm loading it with uh, a load resistor not with a battery so that's uh, that's about 50 amps and then the motor of the mill stalls because of the boost kicks in uh, there's nothing I can do quickly but it works fine we can hear it's doing some load and the resistor starts stinking so there's no far let's take the light off here No brush fire. It's about one on one and a half amps excitation, so that's fine. Yeah, it's nothing I can do really. It's just the way it is. I have not enough power. If we look at the amp meter, we can see actually it's growing. The so hopefully that's visible. seven amps and then that's about the maximum I can draw with that motor which is in the mill um, yeah let's hook up a battery and see what this we're just using these load resistors uh, and they're basically shortening out the the alternator all I wanted to see what happens if if I draw full current here but I can only drive about 60 amps and then the mill stalls. All right, let's hook that up to the battery. So we hooked up to our pool battery at 14 and a half volts. We're drawing just our 10 amps. So it works as good as before. Uh, I just have no empty battery and the resistors are too much. They're stalling out my mill. So there's nothing I can do. Uh, I'll leave that running for another 10-15 minutes. Just maintaining 14.4 volts, that's full charge. Uh, well, about 50 amps and uh, that's about 500 watts, just over about 600 watts. And uh, given the ratio of the mill and everything, uh, it makes sense it stalls it. Alternate doesn't get warm. Just leave, leave that running in a little bit, and uh, stop that. Is that quiet here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, our battery is now up to 12 volts. So I'm just gonna discharge it a little bit. Maybe it helps. So we drained it down a little bit. Give it another try. It just comes back here. Not drained enough here. So uh, ah. helps us to turn the power supply on. So at, at 14 volts it's 20 amps. That's about Okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, obviously, you need enough power. Obviously, you need enough power to drive that. If if you drive 120 amps at 12 volts, that's 1.4 kilowatts, and the mill just does not provide that at this speed. Um, 
it's just not possible. Uh, we can do up to 500-600 watts, but that's about it. It's just the, the gear ratio and everything on, on the mill, and obviously that phase converter doesn't allow a full torque on the motor anyway. Alright, so I'll leave it running for another 10-15 minutes, just make sure the brushes are bedding in and then my, I'm, I'm looking at the wear pattern with a magnifying glass if it looks okay. Um, if that looks okay, we put the cover back on and then put it into the car. Because my old one has worn brushes, I know that. And it has the same issue that the front one is worn down quite a bit. So. That's it from the alternator. Questions let me know, put it down in the comments, I'll try to answer them as good as I can. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, until next time.